And good morning, Math Masters, you fabulous fourth graders. Welcome to Eureka Math in the Morning with Mr. Liggins. Uh, today we're going to dive right into our problem set. And um, go ahead and grab that. Page one, today's date is 10.07.2020. So go ahead and pause the recording while you get that out. All right, welcome back. Number one says determine the perimeter and area of rectangles A and B. I already did A for you, and I was going to do A with you, but my big dog came running in and came barking and barking. So let's just take a look at what we got going here. We counted how many squares this way? Seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine this way. Right? So seven and nine. And we don't know the measurement, it's just units. And so what we did is uh, we talked yesterday, remember Melody and Cole were talking about various strategies to figure out area. And, of course, area is what's inside the rectangle or inside the perimeter. So 9 times 7, of course, is 63. I did a simplifying strategy of 9 times 5 is 45, and 9 times 2 is 18, then added them up. Uh, let's take a look down here. We know that now know because 9 times 7 is 63, that the area is 63 square units. Then we're talking about the perimeter. Remember, perimeter is around the outside of a shape. I like to picture myself as a little person walking around going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on and so on. So we know that this side is 7. They're equal. We know this side is 9. So what we could do is 7 plus 7 plus 9 plus 9. So 7 plus 7 is 14. 9 plus 9 is... Uh, uh, 18 and 14 plus 18 is 32. But we could also go 2 times 7 plus 9. So 2 times 16 would equal 32. So we know our answer here is 32 units. 7 plus 9 is 16. 7 plus 9 is 16. There you have it. Let's go to B. B is a little different because the squares are not inside the shape, but that's not going to prevent us from getting this down. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. So there's nine units. We'll cut it down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units, huh? It's kind of funny. You have seven over here and six here. So once again, let's think about area. Okay, area is what's inside here, inside rectangle B. And remember, the, the easiest and quickest way to get to area is we multiply the length and the width. Okay, so nine times six. All right, what's well, 9 times 6? Hope we got our 9s down. They're going to be kind of tricky. It's 54. And you know, the funny thing is when you multiply 9 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you can take the product or the answer. 6 plus 3 is 9. Look at that. And 5 plus 4 is 9. So it's always going to work that way. So if your product doesn't add up to 9, if you have the two digits, then you don't have the right answer if you're multiplying 9 by another single digit. So 9 uh, times 6 is 54. So we have 54 square units and also got our perimeter remember perimeter is the little guy walking around counting the units so we have nine and six and nine and six a couple of ways we could do this my favorite is nine plus nine plus six plus six and you see the logic behind there nine plus nine six plus six so nine plus nine is 18 six plus six is 12 Huh, I can know that I can just say, like, okay, 18 plus 10 is 28, plus the other 2, 29, 30, and our answer is 30 units. Voila, we're done with uh, those two. Let's come down to 2. It says determine the perimeter and area of each rectangle. Why don't you try this on your own? Pause the tape and give it your best shot. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And welcome back. So it says determine the uh, perimeter and area for each rectangle. Notice they're giving us this measurements now. Five centimeters times six centimeters. Hmm. When they give us uh, the measurement, the unit of measurement, we have to write that in our answer. So five times six is 30. And we have to put square centimeters to get the answer correct. And, you know, we can just review this again. Look, one, two, three. Three, four, five, and six, and then one, two, three, four, and five. How many little squares are in there? So if you said 30, you are correct. Perimeter, remember we're walking around the outside. So we're going to do six plus six, right? We have six here and six here, plus five plus five. 
Okay, 6 plus 6 is 12, 5 plus 5 is 10, uh, 12 plus 10, 22. So our perimeter is 22 centimeters, not squared, just 22 centimeters. I walk 6, then I walk 5, then I walk 6, then I walk 5, it gets 22. Let's go to the next rectangle. Good. Look at the area first, 3 and 8. Well, remember yesterday we talked about this. We said, okay, multiply the length times width, and we get area. So 3 times 8, 8, 16, 24, or 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So our area is 24 square. And I should have had you pause. Why don't you go to pause now and determine the perimeter? Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back. Here we go. Perimeter outside. Do, 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 do. So three. This is also three centimeters, and this would also be eight centimeters, equal sides to a rectangle, right? So all I have to do is go eight plus eight plus three plus three. What's that going to equal? Eight plus eight is sixteen. Three plus three is six. And 16 plus 6 is 22. So we put 22 centimeters. And look at that. The area, both of these rectangles are very different, but they have the same perimeter of 22 centimeters. Hmm. Intriguing. We're going to continue on the back here. I want you to try to do these on your own, determine the perimeter of each rectangle. Oh, just the perimeter, not the area. Remember, just the perimeter. That area would be pretty huge. So just look at the perimeter and go for it. Why don't you A and B on your own and then come back. You'll see how well you did. And welcome back, you fabulous fourth graders, my math masters. Let's look at the perimeter. We have 166 meters on this side, 166 meters on this side. And I'm going to add those two sides together. All right, bring down my, my unit. 6 plus 6, or 6 times 2, is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. And 1, 2, 3, we have 332. Oops, I'm so sorry. We're not done yet. I only added this side and this side. I'm in such a hurry. Then we have 99 meters. You guys are probably thinking, hey, Mr. Lee, what are you doing there? Bring down our meters. 9 plus 9 is 18. Bring down the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 9 is 19. So now we're still not done yet because we have to add these two together. Two plus eight, ten. Nine plus one is ten. Plus three is thirteen. Three, four, and five hundred thirty, and that is our answer. Remember, you just can't put five hundred thirty. We got to put the meters down. All right, let's keep going. We have one meter, fifty centimeters, and seven meters. Okay, remember how many centimeters in a meter? Remember, I said one hundred. You're right. So one fifty plus one fifty, right? Because there's one fifty down here. And this is centimeters, cm, cm. Add them up. Bring down the unit of measurement. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus five is ten. Break one. One plus one plus one is three hundred centimeters. Now over here we have seventy-five, and here we have seventy-five. So seventy-five plus seventy-five. Break down the unit of measurement. Five plus five is ten. 14 and 15, so we have 150 centimeters. So this plus this is 150. This plus this is 300. We could add them together. Let's just go like this. We're going to be centimeters. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 3 plus 1 is 4. Alrighty, let's head on down here. Now I want you to try to conquer these on your own. So it's a little different. We said given the rectangle's area, Find the unknown side length. So this time I will just find the unknown side length, okay? So I'm going to do this one with you, and then you guys can try to do this one on your own. Or if you feel comfortable, go for this one on your own as well. So we have 8 centimeters, and this is a total of 80 square centimeters. So this is how I'm going to set the problem up. 8 times a number equals 80, right? Because we're trying to find the um, this unknown side, x. So 8 times what is 80? Hmm. If you said 8 times 10 is 80, you're absolutely correct. So x, x equals 10. The variable equals 10. And there we go. Go ahead and pause the recording and try to get this one done on your own. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and welcome back. What do we have here? Let's set up the problem. 
you know that 7, well, actually, I should put x equals, yeah, we got 7, we'll find there. Never mind me. So 7 times a number equals 49. Let's review our 7. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. So 7 times 1, 7 times 2, 7 times 3, 7 times 4, 7 times 5, 7 times 6. 7 times 7 equals 49. So x equals 7. And I didn't put the unit of measurement down there because it's right there. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for being a wonderful audience. We're going to do the exit ticket next. I normally, we normally don't do that in a student debrief. So keep watching the videos. When we're done, you'll be logging on to Zern until recess.